Welcome Twin Flames. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I do uh, weekly pick a card readings, usually messages from your person and how do they feel for you. But um, I also like to do, you know, I try to do a Twin Flame higher level soulmate reading like this, um, you know, a few times a month, okay? And the extendeds are over on Patreon for just a dollar. It's the um, lowest priced tier over on Patreon if you want to support the channel or if you're interested in Twin Flames, okay? Getting those extendeds. So um, today's is not a pick a card reading, however. Uh, my Twin Flame readings are for the collective. That means that if you were drawn here, there's likely a message here for you. So just take what resonates and forget what doesn't. Don't, don't try to force anything to apply. Um, I have a playlist linked down below of Twin Flame readings like this. If um, this reading doesn't resonate or if you're just curious, you can check that out. And so just take what resonates, okay? It's just a general reading to the collective, to whoever might be attracted to watch it today. So with that being said, I have some cards pre-shuffled here. We have got the Fairy Tale Oracle, as well as the um, True Love reading cards. And so I think we're gonna get started pulling some cards here, looking at um, past, present, and future of this connection. So go ahead and think about your twin flame or high level soulmate. Angel spirits and guides for everyone who's tuned into this reading. What is going on in this twin flame connection, please? Show me past, present, and future energy for those twin flames who are watching. Past, present, and future energy for the twin flame connections of the people who are watching. We have the five of swords. And present energy. We have got the Nine of Cups. And future energy. We have got the Knight of Wands. Back of deck energy is Ace of Pentacles. So in the past with that Five of Swords, we can see a conflict here, some sort of stressful change brought on perhaps by somebody being too much in their ego. Um, just a second. Sorry guys, I have to do this or else I get, get myself in trouble. Here we go. So anyways, the Five of Swords is about um, changes and the stress associated with change due to somebody being too much in their ego. This is a card of a dirty victory and an unjust defeat. It's also air sign energy, so it can talk about negative thoughts and or sharp words being said between two people, okay? So you and your twin flame. So usually in this scenario, somebody hurts the other one in order to push them away. Sometimes it's about because it's sometimes it's done because somebody is tired of being backed into a corner or tired of walking on eggshells or just didn't see another way out. Um, sometimes it's done to avoid making a decision or making the wrong decision. Okay. So with that being said, um, I do see some mistreatment likely here, an injustice done in the past, more than likely to the viewer, but you know, Roles can be reversed, so switch it if it needs to be. But I am getting that there was an injustice in the past, perhaps some dishonesty, perhaps perhaps some unfairness, um, some prejudgment going on. And, you know, this likely led to, you know, an, an ending in the connection or, or some big change, right? Um, where someone thought that it was time to move on and that they, you know, they're not gonna put up with this anymore, that the things need to change or else, you know, even an ultimatum, ultimatum could have been given, but not necessarily. I feel like a lot of people, whoever this person in the background is representing, who was done dirty by this person, um, this person, you know, they, they just realized that, you know, they deserved better and, um, they, they felt rejected. Um, is this, this is something that couldn't, could have been a false start, maybe didn't make it that far, but 
just take what resonates. It is though kind of like one of my least favorite cards in the deck, okay? But with that Nine of Cups I see at present between the two of you, a transformation taking place. And so the Nine of Cups is a very positive card in and of itself because it does talk about wishes coming true and material abundance as well as emotional abundance. It talks about having, you know, more than enough to give, more than enough to share. And so um, I'm initially just being drawn like some of you are having a really good day. <laughs> okay. Enjoy it if that's the case. Um, others of you are being creative, um, taking an original approach to this connection or your person is. Okay. So just want to get one more card in that nine of cups. And we've got the king of cups. And underneath that is the ace of cups. So the king is a man, but we often say masculine energy because some energies present like a man, whether they are or not. Okay, that kind of goes without saying at this point, but um, it, can, it can be a man, whoever's the man in the situation or whoever's the more masculine in the situation. That is the one that is, um, I'm hearing, you know, flying solo or enjoying solo pleasures. But this person has love for you. If this is your twin flame, it could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. These are both water sign cards. But, it, you know, this is a love or, or romance reading, so it makes sense that uh, emotional cards would come out. And so regardless of their sign, regardless of their gender, this is somebody that has love to give. This is somebody that's feeling abundant, who's feeling a lot of love. So I don't know what this trans what happened between <laughs> we're making a leap from some pretty some pretty crappy behavior to um, somebody feeling the love, and um, this person could be um, yeah I'm getting this person could be newly single if they were with someone before someone else besides you or. Um, they're just enjoying themselves, I think. they There's this sort of deepness that's coming from them, which is good because this is shallow behavior. So the transformation I spoke of could be referring to them deepening in their emotions and deepening in their feelings for you. And we can see that with that Ace of Cups. This person could be wanting to offer you a cup of love to have an emotional new beginning. They could be feeling like you are their wish fulfillment. You know, they could be really loving what you, loving what you do for them. Maybe they... They feel about you like she feels about that cheesecake, you know, that you are delicious and, and that they want you. And we can see that here with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a little lusty, you know, free-spirited individual, active and creative, and he also represents somebody taking action. And like the water sign energy before him, this is somebody that is in, in touch with their intuition. They're in touch with their impulses. And so this person's like drive their impulses, their intuition is, and their feeling is to come towards you, is to, to take action, okay? All right, so let's see you guys' feelings towards one another. For you, we have got the Hermit card, and I was sensing some, some Hermit energy a moment ago. I was talking about like somebody being single or being introspective. So it could be you, it could be your person too. Let's look, person's energy. The viewer's twin flames energy, please. We've got the full card, Aquarius energy. That's Virgo if I didn't say. Flames feelings towards the viewer, please.
Seven of Wands. And at the back of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this person is wanting to fix the situation if they haven't already. They could be wanting to offer you something because this is somebody that goes to great lengths to, to get people to, um, you know, to inspire affection from others. And I feel like they have a lot to give with that Nine of Cups coming out earlier. They could be doing well for them well for themselves financially as well as emotionally and be be in a pretty good place and so you know this puts them in a beautiful place to reconcile with you if a reconciliation is what is needed and also I'm getting this person could be feeling nostalgic missing you or missing the good times that the two of you shared I'm also just getting gifts okay getting gifts this person could want to offer you a gift I am feeling like they want to offer you something um, you are feeling with that hermit energy like you're not really paying attention to this person. Um, you are paying attention to manifesting something else in your life. Some of you could be students studying, learning a new craft. But mostly with that hermit energy, I'm getting like you're feeling towards this connection, your general energy. It's kind of a solitary energy towards this connection. And you've just kind of like gone within to get clarity. You know, you are on a quest for personal truth and spiritual illumination. So you're very spiritually minded, which makes sense because you're here at this reading. People who watch tarot usually are um, open-minded and spiritual. So that's what I'm getting. And that's, you know, doubled down on by the magician energy. You feeling like... Um, you know, using your resources to manifest a new reality. And so you're wanting to, with focused creativity, turn some vision into reality and take inspired action. Or you want your person to do this. Okay. And while your person is also looking like they're wanting a new beginning with the fool. So it's like they're starting a new cycle. I do feel like you guys are at odds, focusing on your own happiness but you're, you're marrying one another, which is, you know, you know, common amongst these types of relationships. But it seems like you're both getting ready to turn over a new leaf or in the process of doing that, okay? And so with your person, Seven of Swords energy towards you, let's get a clarifying card on that. Clarify seven of, I'm sorry, seven of wands, not swords. Seven of wands. We have got the hanged man here. So I think this person is thinking about how they can have success in this connection. How they can, you know, overcome, overcome your barriers, overcome your boundaries. Okay, so they're going within as well. Again, mirroring energies. This is Virgo energy. This is Piscean energy or Pisces energy. So those are um, two sides of the same coin, equal and opposite. And so this person's hanging out. <laughs> they're also going within for wisdom. They're having to make some sort of self-sacrifice and get in order to get a different perspective. It's like they have accepted their fate of where, wherever they're at. And um, is this person smoking on here? I think I just noticed that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. um, a mountain climber who is um, evidently enjoying a joint while watching the sunset. Okay. So maybe your person smokes. But anyway, yeah, this person is kind of, <clears throat> you know, resolved to the fact that... Um, they have to let go of, of something and see things from a different perspective. If they plan on ending a separation here, if you guys are separated. But also I'm getting this energy of them needing to 
of this transformation that the two of you guys are going through. For this transformation to complete or to continue or to, to be successful, somebody here needs to know how to, to finally say no, to, to stand up for themselves and be in their power. So I feel like there's some sort of a cycle that you guys are completing and it looks like it's, um, it's been stressful. I think there have been a lot of burdens in this connection or your person feels like there has been, your person feels like the connection has been stressful. Um, but they also feel like it's salvageable. Like however pressurized the situation is, they do feel, they do feel like the connection is salvageable. And, um, maybe they're releasing their fear of change okay so i feel like they're self-soothing yeah let's get another card on let's clarify the hermit yeah there's that five of wands which talks about being conflicted so your person could see you um, being conflicted in this connection or because this card does represent some sort of challenge in the connection. So does the Seven of Wands. Your person is picking up on any sort of conflicted feelings that you feel about them or this connection. They're, they could be worried about, you know, there being rivals for your love, but they are worried not so much worried, but thinking about and reflecting upon the challenges challenges in this connection. And maybe that's what you're doing as well. If there's been any sort of third party interference or outside interference, definitely there has been a clash of egos because we already saw that and that's being reflected again. Um, maybe you're seeing this as a petty ego battle or um, something along those lines. But more objectively, it seems like, you know, somebody got taken advantage of here. And so that brings me to this Oracle card that come out for you guys from one of my decks here that I already said, the Sacred Woman. So the Sacred Woman come out, it's from the True Love deck. And, you know, on the picture, this is the um, Native American Indian legend of the White Buffalo, White Buffalo Woman. And so she is clearly connected to the concept of the Divine Feminine. So this is whoever identifies as the Divine Feminine, most likely the viewer. And, um, you know, basically with this, it's saying like, you could have um, self-sabotaged yourself, you know, in this connection in the past with this person, because the main message I'm drawn to from this card was, because when this card shows up, it can talk about that you need to stop self-sabotaging yourself or self or behaving in a self-sabotaging way. And she is here, you know, to help you. She's here to help you to have courage to do what you know that you need to do. Okay. And I feel like it depends on who's watching. We got a lot of different people watching, but there's a spectrum. Like some of you are just starting to really understand and get down to the nitty gritty of what you need to change in order for this transformation and this connection to continue and to be successful. Some of you are farther along that path, okay? But, um, now she's, I mean, this is a, a really fantastic card. And so, this is about the power and, you know, the sacred divinity of the Divine Feminine. And this is, you know, it all talks all about, you know, this, this woman, this particular woman who she represents is someone who um, really knows her power in terms of she respects herself and she commands respects from, respect from men, okay, from, from masculines. And, and this card coming out is saying that this is the, the learning curve that, that the feminines are going through. This is what you're learning to do and what you're learning to accomplish. So there is a real, a real tough power to the divine feminine, innate to the divine feminine. It's a power in and of itself. 
it is a reflection of masculine energy, but it's not masculine energy. It's an equal and opposite power, okay? And that's what she represents. So like I said, I feel like some of you are coming into your power here with that. And your person is seeing that. So let me get another deck. Should we clarify with another deck? Yeah, let's just, let's do whatever. <laughs> I lost my deck. Um, yeah, let's clarify the fool now. This person is running to the Empress. It's like, where is this person running? Back of the world, or back of the deck. Energy is the world card. So that's the completion of the cycle. This person feels like the cycle is completed or will soon be completed and you guys can start back at zero. Because the world card is number 21, it's the last of the major arcana, and then it goes back down to zero and starts over again, the whole cycle starts over again. So it's like this person is ready to start something new and they're ready to start something new with their divine feminine, with the empress, which the Empress is the same as the Sacred Woman, okay? So however unpleasant that conflict that the Five of Swords represents, however unpleasant that conflict was in the past, it seems to have triggered the toughening up of the Divine Feminine and her coming into her power. At least that's your person's energy towards the connection. That's their thoughts and feelings on it. And it's like, there is some, you know, there's still some ego with your person. I don't know if they're wanting to be a little bit defensive towards you still, still. But I think that they're afraid. You know, if they're defensive, it's because they love you and they have big emotions for you. And they want an emotional new beginning. And you're withdrawn and um, you're not messing around this time. Because you've learned from the past. So I'm being drawn to read from the book. Let me get the book real quick on the sacred woman. I know I'm going to go over on this reading, but that's okay because I feel like that's what's being said in this reading here. So let me get it. Yeah, I think it... All right. All right, it applies in the sense that of what I just said. It says, In the legend, white buffalo woman annihilates a man who thinks he can simply embrace her and claim her like a piece of property. The man who senses her divinity and wild power is spared the same fate because she can see that even though he holds his bow and arrow up to her in fear, he respects her power. Okay, so it's like the one that recognizes her power is the one that will, that will win her. The one that takes her for granted and disrespects her is the one that gets killed, basically. An extreme sort of example example but um yeah and by him respecting her you know she bestows her um her abundance upon him and his tribe so um i'll just read the, this other part too the white buffalo calf woman brings an important reminder to us today about the potentially destructive forces that are available when the feminine is treated as trivial. In modern life, this applies to both men and women, meaning that women must be prepared to value themselves and act upon this if they want to be respected by their male counterparts. So like this person is seeing you as respecting yourself, maybe you're standing up for yourself more, you're not tolerating the same things that you did before, and this is this this is teaching this person how to treat you. It says, white buffalo calf woman did not play games, make idle threats, or pretend to be something she was not. She did not compromise herself or her, her integrity for mere physical security or a life that was less fulfilling. And by annihilating the disrespectful warrior, she made it clear to all others that her power was not to be doubted. Okay, so this could be you annihilating a third party and your person seeing that and learning to respect you more because of that. But I feel like you... Um, stood up to this person even when they were fighting dirty with you. And some somehow they're getting the message that, you know, you are in your power. That you are the Empress. And I'm really being drawn to this um, 
that Joan Holloway character from Mad Men is comes to mind when I read, you know, she did not compromise her herself or her, her integrity for mere physical security or a life that was less fulfilling because there is a part in that show which I just watched for the first time recently because um well, long story, but yeah, where she basically just says, you know, that um she would rather die she would rather die hoping for love than settle for a situationship basically okay and I guess you know some of you watching reflect that energy and it is making your person see you as see you as the divine feminine which um where did that card go <laughs> oh there she is okay all right, guys, we're going to finish this over in the extended. Sorry that got a little lengthy, um, but this is as far as I got, and I am interested to see what happens and how this plays out. So we're going to go over there. We are going to, um, what are we going to do over there? <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get the, we need to get the outcome. So we'll pull some more cards on the outcome, as well as I'll get into the fairy tale Oracle card and get clarification. We'll get some messages and some advice. So, um, if you feel guided to, follow me over there. And um, otherwise, you know, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you next time.